day in the life of a Pilates instructor. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Eileen and I'm a certified Pilates instructor from Miami. It's about 9.30 now and I'm getting ready to go film a Pilates class for my online studio. Today is not my typical Thursday. I'm also going into the studio to see some clients. So I'm gonna show you what it's like to run your own online studio and also go see clients in person within the same day. Also have to get some work done behind the computer. So I've got a busy day up ahead. I woke up this morning at around 7 a.m., folded some laundry, did my morning skincare routine, just finished having some breakfast. I'm getting ready to leave now to go film my Pilates class. I have it all planned out. Gotta grab my ankle weights. Can't forget that because we're using them in the class today. And I think I'm going to take my dog Pongo for a little stroll around the neighborhood now before I go film. So busy day up ahead, but I figured I'm going to be bringing you along with me. Good morning. I love you. Besito. Thank you. Let's see where these ankle weights are. <laughs> You want a treat? Yeah? <laughs> Yummy! Want a yummy treat? See you later. Even though it's like a rainy and gloomy morning today in Miami, I'm kind of happy about it because that means it's not gonna be too hot when I'm filming since I'm filming outside. So it also helps with the lighting if it's not too bright in the background. Ready to film. When you do Oh look at the pretty bird. It looks like a woodpecker. Oh wow, I think it's a blue jay. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh it's a little bit. Are you my director today? Actually, no, because once you start filming, I have to continue doing my my work. Oh, okay. So I'm just, you know, watch you sit up. Say testing. Testing. Okay. Well. <laughs> Only take me about 30 minutes to film the class, and then I'll go say hi to you after, okay? Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye.
The class took me about 25 minutes to film. It was a lower body class using ankle weights and it was a good one. I think my clients are really gonna like it. I have to head to Publix now to pick up some groceries because we don't have anything for dinner today. So I'm gonna finish packing up and then head to the grocery store. My matcha bowl broke recently, so I had to order a new one along with some more matcha. So, new bowl arrived. Let's make some matcha. Okay, so I announced on my monthly newsletter on April 1st and on Instagram already the special project that I have been working on, which is a Pilates instructor reflection journal. I am so excited about this products that I'm creating. So the digital version is already live. It's linked in the description in case you wanna print it out or put it on your iPad. But basically what it is, you'll have the intro page that says inhale confidence, exhale self doubt. And it's a reflection journal that I want us instructors to be able to use to reflect on our sessions and grow as Pilates instructors. So I didn't realize what goes into creating a physical product. And it's been taking me so much time and research to to just get everything in place because it's just a lot of information and no one's really teaching me how to do any of this or create a physical product. So I'm kind of just like doing it on my own and learning along the way. But it's where I'd really like your feedback on what you want to see in this journal because at the end of the day, this is for us instructors. So any feedback that you have on what you want included in it is going to be super helpful in putting together the final product. So each page is going to be reusable and you'll have the date at the top along with the day of the week that it is. You'll put the total sessions that you teach and then a couple of prompts, one of them being like top moments and client wins and then you can write in any of those. Another one being one thing I can improve on is that way at the end of the day, you can reflect on all of your sessions before just jumping into your sessions for the next 
next day, this is going to be a great way of just starting your day with a grateful and appreciative heart and ending your day with reflection on how the sessions went. And I think that it's really going to benefit us instructors. So I've been making a couple of changes. I'll show the footage right now. I've gathered some feedback so far of some people who have downloaded the digital version of the Pilates journal. I'm working on some edits. So I want to show you what that looks like. So right now I'm thinking of two different options for the cover and I'll show you what that looks like. So the first option is this one where it looks really elegant, but the only thing with this one is this is the same texture that I used for this journal. And you can see that the color, like you can see the texture and the texture looks pretty similar to this texture. It's just in person, I don't know if it shows, but in person it's almost like a little blue, which I think I'm okay with, but yeah. So this is super off-centered. <laughs> this was just a sample, just so I could see what it looked like. I also am removing the volume one because this will be the only volume. So I went ahead and I centered this, I played around with the fonts. And that's kind of where I'm at so far with this version of it. I'm still playing around with if I want caps here, not caps here, bold here, not bold here. I don't know. I'm, I'm still messing around with like the cover of it. My little logo is right here. It's in white, so it's very subtle. And then for the inside pages, here we've got the main cover. All the prompts were kind of just together, like no flow really to them. And I really wanted a section to be for the morning, like what you're grateful for that day. And I ended up moving today's positive affirmation up to the top. And then I separated it into an AM and a PM section. So it's a little more clear of what you're doing in the morning for this journal and what you're doing in the evenings after you teach your classes. So here's what the edits look like so far. We've got this little section up here with the sun. Let me zoom in. And that's for the morning. And then for the evening, we've got it with this gray background, which this color matches the same color as these little dots here. This is option one. This, I feel like design-wise, goes very well with this top one. Option B is a more abstract version, which I don't know if I like it. I think I honestly hate it, but I don't know. Let me know which one you would prefer. This is where I really need your feedback so that once I print these, I mean, there's no turning back. This sample was the only sample I'm gonna get before I order in bulk. And I really need to know not only like how many people I think are gonna order this. So if you're interested in this, your feedback is so appreciated because I'm using my own money out of my pocket to order these journals. And if I get zero sales, then I literally lose all that money. And the goal is so that we can have Pilates instructors unite with this little journal. I'm not even gonna make that big of a profit and I will dive deeper into that once I order these. It's gonna be a very small profit margin, but that is okay because this isn't gonna be a big seller that I'm gonna say, hey, I really wanna get rich off of this journal. No, that's not the goal. It's to help you as a Pilates instructor. So your feedback is so needed and so necessary. Don't mind my glasses and retainers. It's 8 p.m. and I'm working and it's okay because this is fun for me. But yeah, let me know your feedback. I would appreciate it. So thanks. Yeah, so I'm thinking of having like a morning section and then an evening section, but I'm very excited about this product. Let me know what you think. Let me know any changes that you want to see. Now time to enjoy my matcha for getting ready to head into the studio to see my clients. After I drank my matcha, I had a chicken salad wrap for lunch, and then I was working at the computer from about 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. I'm a social media manager for another Pilates studio, so I got work done for their Instagram account. I edited and scheduled the class that I filmed in the morning. I replied to DMs, YouTube comments, and client emails, and then I went over my to-do list for the next day. It was a busy day behind the computer, only three hours, but I got a lot done. It's 4.07 p.m. I just got to the studio. My session, my first session starts at 5. If you saw in my mind, 
monthly planning video. I'm trying to post more on my Pilates on the Green Instagram account. So I got to the studio a little bit earlier, not only so I can convert the machines if I need to, which I do for two of the towers. I'm gonna teach a reformer class, so I need to convert the towers over to reformers. But I am going to also film a little series of the class that I filmed this morning, so I can post it to Instagram tonight. And I forgot to film it. Honestly, I completely forgot after filming the class this morning. I convert these really fast, and then I'm going to film that little series. If I have time, I will post it before my clients arrive, so let's see. See if I have enough time to actually edit this and get it up. So even though I am covering today for another instructor, the clients that I'm seeing are clients that I already know and clients that come to my classes and that have booked privates with me. So that makes it really easy because I know the bodies that are coming and I already have in mind what I'm going to be teaching them. I already know what they're gonna be requesting. I already know. So I'm already kind of planning the sequence in my mind, but I will wait to see what they request first. That's always so important to see how their body is feeling today because it may be different from how they were feeling when I saw them yesterday.
40, I just got home from the studio the sessions went great and my husband prepared dinner So I'm just gonna serve my plate now and eat some dinner and then I didn't end up posting the series to Instagram Because my clients arrived a little early and I didn't have time to post it And I also just laid on the Cadillac and just left my feet hanging in the air um, Which felt really nice, but after dinner I'll probably just post that really quick to Instagram and if I don't post it today Then I'll post it to the Pilates on the green Instagram tomorrow, but I'm gonna make a homemade version of poppy I have this pretty often with my dinner and I want to show you how simple it is and it's so much cheaper than poppy because poppy is so expensive for one little can. This, you buy a whole box of LaCroix. This is the watermelon flavor. Put it in a glass with ice. All you need is this, apple cider vinegar, and then I'll show you the last two little steps. And it tastes, in my opinion, just like poppy without the added sugar, and without the added ingredients that poppy has. Get your apple cider vinegar, get one tablespoon. If you're new to trying apple cider vinegar, I would recommend half a tablespoon to begin and then measuring up from there. But I'll do one tablespoon, put that in. And then I've got Mio lemonade and strawberry watermelon. I'm gonna do one squirt of each. From here, get a spoon. And honestly, it tastes pretty good. Homemade poppy. Try it out. Let me know if you like it. It's a little hack to save money if you like poppy. But I think I'm going to be wrapping up this vlog here. So thank you so much for spending the day with me. If you liked this video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more Pilates and health related content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.